What's up, everybody? It's your boy, DJ B A S E, DJ Bass, because music is the foundation to every hit unless it's an a cappella. And if you tuned in to this channel, then you've tuned in to the beat break. And on this episode of the beat break, we're going to be looking at a hard hitting hip hop track. And it's going to be a track that an MC could get on. And just spit, okay? It's one of them tracks. And as always, when we started, we didn't know the direction. But we knew we wanted to start with the tempo tapper. We tapped out a tempo according to the mood we were in. Turned out to be around 130. And as always, for Balu, that's how we're going to start this, okay? And as always, we're going to start with, boom, a snare. And this is the snare we use. Okay? And if you're stuck, man, always drop that snare on the three. Or you could say the seven, I mean the, the three and the seven. Okay? But just drop it on the three, all right? And since this is a, a four bar loop, okay, by FL Studio Standards, okay, we doing this in trap tempo. So we drop that snare on that trap tempo, and that's that three and that eight, okay. Boom. And at the end of that second bar, we add a little stutter step. Okay, it's a simple little snare pattern, man. And at this point, we decided to get rid of the metronome and create our own metronome in the form of a hi-hat pattern, okay? And we decided to get a little intricate with this hi-hat pattern, okay? As you can see, boom. This pattern, we started it out, right, with two drops. On the third one, we decided to omit. And then we started back with the pattern. And then when we got here, okay, we decided to do a shift. Okay, a pitch shift. All right. And then we went back with the pattern. We just repeated what we did. And we omitted that shift, that pitch shift. Okay. All right. And for that second half, for that, bar, that, sec, for that second bar, what we did was we just copied this pattern. Okay. We drug it over, right there. We omitted this part, boom. And then we just kept what we had, and this is the pattern. Let me turn that on. Okay. All right. Mm. Okay, man. As you can see, like I said, we omitted a note here, here, and these notes, okay? As you can see, that little bounce it gave it. Okay, nice little bounce. We want to fill that empty space in. And like I said, we wanted to get a little intricate with this uh, hi-hat pattern. So we brought in another hi-hat. And that's the hi-hat sound, okay? Just a little different from this one. All right? So we brought in this one. And we just dropped it in those spaces where we omitted some of those hi-hats, okay, in the last pattern. And this is what it sounds like together. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And as you can see, it gave it a little bounce. But we weren't finished with that. Okay, we want to further 
embellish this pattern, man. So what we decide to do to add a little splash, man. So on that same pattern, where we drop that, that second hi-hat pattern, okay, we drop a splash. Okay, in those same steps. And it just gave it a different feel, and this is it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. As you can see, they gave that a definite bounce. All right. And at this point, we didn't want to soften it up too much. So we decided to go ahead with that kick pattern. All right. And this is the kick we use. As you can see, a pretty nice kick. It's just a simple kick pattern. We just use five notes in the first half of that bar. I mean, in that first bar, okay? And we just dub that up in the second half, okay? Keeping it real simple. Okay. All right. All right, man, at this point, we hopping, we bouncing, we moving. So I decided, you know what, that's enough of the beat. That's enough of the drums, okay? Let's get into some chords, okay, some harmony, all right? Because you got to look at a chord, it's just basically two or more notes played simultaneously or in harmony, okay? And so that's what we have. And basically we're in F natural minor. And you can just refer to my previous video on how to stay in key in FL Studio or any other DAW. And it'll, say, and it'll show you how to set the keyboard up like this. Where you have all the notes of the scale, okay, laid out on the keyboard, okay. That's F, G, G sharp, A sharp, C, C sharp, D sharp. Back to F, and that's all the notes of F natural minor, okay? And basically, to create this little chord, all we did was play the first and the fifth of that scale, okay? And we played this little chord, simple chord, all right? And for the second half chord, okay, we just play what we call a sustain two, okay? Basically, we're playing the second note of that scale along with the fifth and the first, and that's a sustain too, okay? And then for this third chord, we kept the, the root note and the, the melody note, the, the top note, the same, okay? And we just created a sustain four. And for the last chord, okay, we just held down that F, and we, we added these two notes, and that created a natural G minor chord, okay? And like I said, just refer to my other video, How to Stay in Key in FL Studio or any other DAW, and it'll show you how to set this up. This keyboard up like this, plus play the keyboard controller with more efficiency. But anyway, this is the sound. We chose from Omnisphere. And this is the how it goes with the drums. Okay. All right, man. Just a nice, cool base for what we got going just a little blueprint for this the rest of this composition all right and it's sounding good all right but at this point i knew we needed more movement right on the low end for me all right so we decided to come with this sound okay 
And basically, it's 808 Studio. Okay? Pretty good plug-in, all right? And basically, we use that. It's like a bass line slash melody, right? And basically, all we did was go from the one to the three to the four to the two to the one to the four three and back to the one boom and like i said refer to my video man how to stay in key in fl studio or any other dog and you'll see how we can easily make melodies no problem all right and this is how this sound with what we had before first this is how it sound without okay it's like a movement and this with the movement Right, man definitely we have created movement but at the same time I knew we needed some more excitement because it's kind of mellowed out and smoothed out which is cool but we wanted to add some more energy boom and we did that in, in the form of a sort of chord melody okay we played a little melody right here in certain areas we added notes where this first melody started, at the beginning of this melody, we add an, uh, another uh, another note, okay? We started the melody with an F, and we added a higher F, and we just held it for the entire length of that bar, you could say, or the length of that note. And when this melody started, okay, on G sharp, we added a higher G, uh, G sharp or octave higher, okay? And just held it down for the length of that bar, okay, or the length of that melody, part of the melody, and so forth and so on. And this is what we had, a kind of harmonized melody. And when we put it with what we had, okay, this is what we have. Okay, man. And on that note, you've been rocking with your boy D J B A S E. And hey, if you like this video, if you found it entertaining, or if you learned anything, man, look, like, comment, share, and most definitely subscribe so you can see what your boy do next time.